Hi, Sir Ross. Well, good afternoon. This is Adam. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, sorry. Good evening. Sorry, my apologies. Um, I would just, I would like to ask. Uh, there are 36 men right now at your back waiting to be business um, success or in the next few days. Now, um, we are doing all these um, hot picks. Uh, as to, we're guessing as to which guy will win the title this coming Saturday. What are you exactly looking for in a winner? So when, when I was introduced to her, she said, Roscoe's ready to take questions. Well, she's got it wrong because I'm never ready to take questions because I get a bit of a grilling. And you guys are experts at asking these nice questions. Um, but obviously, what does it take? Well, I said before, I'd probably turn around and say, look at the sense, you know, and that would be my answer. Um, you've got to have good looks. In 1993, I don't think our values have changed much since 1993, when we became a window for guys to showcase their talent. They've got to be good on the one way. They've got to be uh, good looking. They've got to have a good body. But by a good body, and I always say this, we, we, we're not a bodybuilding contest. Definitely not. And we, we go the other way if you say bodybuilding. But you've obviously got to have a good body to be on stage and to model some of these clothes, whether it be swimwear or fashionwear, you know. And it shows the guys care about themselves and care about their bodies. That's the main thing. And good looks, a personality, and I guess, I hope some of these guys are entering manhunt to take their talents further as a showcase. Uh, and I've seen it so many times. Every one of our 19 winners, and I wish I could bring them all on stage, uh, have all had the qualities that Vincent's got. And we've been very lucky over our time, 20 winners. And I know that some of you people out there probably know every one of our winners. Um, I think I told the story uh, a little while ago. I hope I'm not dragging this on, but I, I told the story about in 1998, Sweden won the world final in Australia. Now, we are a family, and all these guys are part of our Madhunt family. And in 1998, Peter Eriksson from Sweden won. Well, the Christmas has just gone by. Peter Eriksson visited me on the Gold Coast with his wife and two children, 12 and 13 years old, 21 years after, and we had Christmas together. So, you know, that is the kind of value that we have. We never forget each other, we're all together, and I don't think any other pageant, male pageant, can say that. Nobody. Um, so, and I, I stay in touch with Thomas Southey from Germany in 1993. He's got the same values as Vincent. Qualities, you know, so does that answer your question? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Who is ready for the next question? <coughs> Okay. Hi. Uh, this is for the Mr. Philippines contestant. Okay. Hello. Um, with regards to the preparation for the Manhattan uh, competition, do, do you have special diets or uh, exercise that you want to share? And how was it competing with these other guys? <laughs> Um, so since I won Manhunt Philippines, it was in December. Uh, so I only had like two months to prepare. Mm -hmm. So I've been going to the gym almost every day and changing my diet. Um, you can go to the gym every day, but if your diet is not good, it's not going to go anywhere. So mm -hmm. with my diet, I have cut down on rice, even though my mom told me not to, because, you know, Filipinos love their rice. <laughs> uh, I also uh, have stopped eating sugar and I have stop drinking with my friends. So I've been missing out on time with my friends, but it's all worth it for this competition. Um, compared to the other people over here, uh, they have really nice bodies. Um, but I'm gonna do my best, and I'm gonna keep training every day to give my best. Thank you. Um, thank you. Uh, next question is, sorry, I, I find your skin so, you know, flawless. Is there any special, uh, oh, 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 sorry, sorry. 
Uh, any special vanity routine that you do to take care of your skin? Um, honestly, I don't really take care of my skin. I guess I think it's, I just keep myself hydrated. I, I drink water before I sleep and after I wake up, and so I don't get pimples or blemishes. I think that's the secret. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the beauty tip. <laughs> All right, do we have another question? Ms. Mr. Norman? Okay, I'll, call, I'll be calling three guys. I hope you can answer in English. I hope. Brazil, Greece, and Netherlands. Actually, it's a similar question for all three. The question is, why do you want to be the next Manhunt International? Um, yeah, good night, guys. Uh, I don't speak English very well, sorry, but I try answering too. Uh, if I know uh, the new ma name, ma the new next Manhunt 2020. Well, my dreams in, in Brazilian, I am a physiotherapist and I have one dream in is no problem to me. But I have one dream in this, uh, to be top model, international, travel around the world. And I have a shirt with him. I have one uh, more focus, uh, more dedication. And I, I am in this, this position, sorry, for the, the, the main hunt to be. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. okay. Yes, the, the word is only in Portuguese. Uh, I answered in Portuguese yeah, because. Yes, yeah, uh, my Google translator. Bom, se eu for novo Manhunt, Manhunt International, eu quero conhecer o mundo inteiro. Eu tenho certeza que eu, que eu tenho tempo para isso, eu tenho disposição para isso. E hoje nada me, nada me impede de, de seguir o meu sonho e, e me dedicar. Word for word, Bianca. <laughs> Basically, he is saying that um, he really he joined Manhattan International because he wants to see the world and now he has the time for it and he is prepared to do it. Um, Eu me dediquei para o Manhunt, para um concurso internacional, não necessariamente Manhunt, em dois anos. Mr. Brazil e agora o Manhunt. Então, é, fiz dieta, my diet, é, academia, é, cardio, eu trabalho bastante em meus patrocinadores. Então, hoje eu posso dizer que eu estou 100% preparado e se eu ganhar ou se eu perder, eu tenho certeza que eu dei o meu melhor. Bianca, word for word again. I will try my best. Uh, he said that he's, he's been preparing for two years, not just with Manhunt International, but he also competed in other uh, modeling or international contests. And now he really has um, dedicated this time to really do his best and to compete at his optimum. And he is 100% prepared for the competition. Like That's what he's doing. Leaders, a beauty queen. Okay, next. Hello, but first of all, I want to thank you all that you've been coming here for this a beautiful show. So thank you. Um, the reason I want to be the next minute, first of all, I will, uh, I will. I'm trying to be a better person every day, and I think Manhattan International is a perfect platform to uh, promote me as person every day, but also to promote the pageant world. In a lot of countries, the pageant world is uh, pretty small, and I want to promote Manu, and I think I can promote Manu in, with uh, interviews, but also with um, modeling work, fashion work, uh, fashion work. So that's why I want to be a Manu International, and first, um, uh, I want to be part of the Manu family as well. So thank you all. Thank you, and Nikos. Uh, if I'm gonna win, uh, look, uh, I'm, st I'm finished my studies in uh, history and archaeology, so oh. it gives me the opportunity later to be a travel guide. So uh, if I win one the national, I could promote later uh, because uh, as a travel guide, 
Uh, I can travel around the world, uh, it's a part of my job, yeah, so as an international model as well, I can do both. I can combine uh, both and uh, this is uh, my goal. In the next uh, few years, I see myself uh, doing international uh, modeling uh, all around the world and by, by the same time uh, to work as a travel guide uh, because uh, I want to learn uh, new places, uh, new cultures, uh, to meet new people and uh, this is why. So if I go to Greece, where will you bring me? Uh, <laughs> Once in Olympia, of course, because once in Olympia is my hometown. So uh, also Olympic Games started from us in Olympia. It would be a great opportunity to see this place and uh, to travel you all around the place. We'll go next week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Brazil, Greece, and Netherlands. All right, we are ready for our next question. Who else? Alexa. <laughs> I guess I'd like to call in Domir here for Mr. Philippines. <laughs> okay, Dom. Two questions. First, it's only been, if I'm not mistaken, two days that you've been getting to know the guys. What? How has it been? And what they've been asking you about the Philippines in particular, because I know there's going to be a tour coming up. And second, um, the second question rather is, in the past two days, what are the what quality have you seen that you guys have in, as very similar to each other? Uh, what I've noticed, uh, what, we, what we have been doing for two days is, uh, we've been asking each other, what's the best places that we can go to each other's countries. Um, because, you know, when we get to their countries, we want to know which one is the go-to spots. Also, I've been asking them, uh, what are the, uh, the the kind of foods that we have to try, like, the very first time we get there? Because there's a lot, you can feel a lot of the culture just from the food of the country. Um, I've been learning a lot from their personalities, uh, even politics a little bit. Um, <laughs> I've been learning what they do in life, like modeling, their career paths, their um, goals. Um, so that's what I've learned from them. Um, for the second question, um, can you repeat the question? The second question, rather, is what are you looking forward to when you were talking to them? What are you looking forward to with your when they start touring the Philippines? Oh, um, I'm looking forward to making more memories with them. Uh, it doesn't matter where we go, what we do, as long as we have fun and we make connections and friendships, I think that's all that matters. And we can continue to be friends even after that. Right, thank you. Thank you. Next question. Um, is there any more questions for Domia before he walks back? <laughs> huh? No? Okay. All right. 